Hello and welcome once again to Quarterlight. Today we're going to look at a Swedish classic car. It was part of the Volvo 140 series. It's the Volvo 145. Yes, the estate version. It was produced from 1968 until 1974. Everyone agreed that this was a safe, comfortable and extremely spacious and practical family vehicle. In fact, even today, we still think of Volvo as producing boxy estate cars. So let's have a quick look at that brochure now. So here is that Volvo 145 brochure. This is a UK brochure from 1968. Uh, production really went from 68 to 74, although you could argue uh, 67 was the first year because at the end of November 67 is when Volvo presented this model. But we tend to say 68 to 74 is the production years. This really rounded up the Volvo 140 series with the 142 being a two door sedan or saloon. The 144 being the four door version and then this 145 being the station wagon or a state depending on how you want to refer to them. Like I say this is a UK brochure at the top here I don't know if you can make it out um, it is very faint but the brochure itself originally came from Leeds in the UK. So let's open up that brochure now and see what we can find. Oh, and incidentally, this number 145, it did have a significance. It wasn't just a random number. Uh, the one indicated that it was a Series 1 uh, vehicle. Uh, the 4 indicated that these were 4-cylinder cars. And then the 5 indicated it was a 5-door car. So if we look at a 142, again, it's that 1 Series, the same family. It was a two-door car and a sedan or um, saloon, if you prefer to call it. But basically a two-door car, um, four-cylinder. And then if we look at the 144, again, it was a four-door um, sedan or saloon, preferring how you want to call it. But basically the one indicating the series, the second number indicated how many cylinders the engine had, and then the last number indicated how many doors that particular car had. So it's a big fold-out style brochure, this particular one. Like I say, this is the earliest uh, version of the 145. They did do many changes. Um, these early ones had like a nice separate window at the end. Later on, around about 1970, this became a one-piece window. And then in 71, we got the more traditional black grille with that horizontal line on it. And then later in 72, we lost these nice door handles to be a more flush finish. But you can certainly immediately recognise that as a Volvo all the same. Personally, I preferred these early ones. I think the, uh, the most attractive of them. But certainly, when they put that black grille on, it certainly is more noticeable as a Volvo. When we fold that brochure back in, we can see the interior shots showing these white seats. I don't actually remember them having these white seats on, but maybe the early ones did. It certainly looks quite stylish in there. It also shows in the brochure there that the odometer indicated under up to 999,999 miles and goes on to say because Volvo is indeed built to last. So showing the durability of the car and certainly some of the cars did reach extremely high miles because they were really well built. And you can just see how well built they were by looking at that interior shot with these nice handles um, on there and these nice handles and the wheel. Everything really logically laid out and well built. It was certainly a car to last. This one 
is showing the 1986 cc engine they did also have a 1778 cc as well uh, but all these were four cylinder engines like it says one four five being four cylinder this particular one is also showing a four speed manual gearbox and a three speed also although they did come out with a four speed with overdrive later on even these early ones had disc brakes all round which is very impressive for the late 60s so from the three versions the 144 was the first one to come out that was 66 followed by late 66 7 for the 142 and then finally the 145 um, arriving early 68 so there we have it the Volvo 145 a real quality engineered car and really a vehicle that developed for quite some time doing these boxy estate cars built to last there we go that is the Volvo 145 if anyone has got any memories of this car put it down in the notes there it's always nice to read I always think of the Volvo 140 series of really booking the trend of 1970s cars being rusty, unreliable, poorly built vehicles. These really did last well. And of course was capable of huge mileage which not many cars of the time could certainly acclaim to. Thank you once again for watching Quarterlight. It's always nice to do these videos. I hope you enjoy watching them. Please do like and subscribe if you do. Uh, more videos coming out very soon. I tend to specialise mainly in 60s, 70s and 80s cars as they are my favourite. So we'll say goodbye for now. Take care and we'll see you soon.